Why did you wink at me? What does that even mean? What was the last video? Why are you so serious today? What was the last challenge that you filmed to your baby? Sticky. Can you give me a hit for our swipe so I can at least put my elbows down? I'm already in trouble today. You have to admit my joke was pretty funny. No, you don't make jokes about my arms. <laughs> I already get enough jokes about my arms. So the grocery bags are pretty heavy. And um, I was like, Eric, Baby. are these really heavy or am I just Baby. really, really weak? Listen. Don't. Listen. Don't fart. You're so gross. Just listen. Listen. Babe, listen. stop. Listen. No. Shh, 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 shh. Do you hear it? Ew, what? Anyway, so he's carrying the grocery bags and he's like, I said something sassy and he goes, well, I am carrying $90 worth of groceries. And I was like, you need the arm workout. <laughs> like that joke. What's going on guys and welcome back to another video on the electrics. You have to say it with more pizzazz, babe. The electrics. So everyone, we actually just got back from LA. We met with the legendary Nick Avocado. Avocado. And it was absolutely amazing. So we're going we're gonna to show you guys that in this video, but before we do, we're going to actually un package some some groceries that yeah, we got. We this is our big, This is actually our biggest grocery haul outside of Costco that we've ever had. Really? Yep. Oh, Ninety dollars right. altogether. Most of the stuff you guys have seen before some stuff you may have not seen. We like to do these pretty frequently just because we get a lot of subscribers on this channel that are like, what do you guys eat uh, in your day-to-day -day life? So we'd like to show you guys that as much as we possibly can. We just did, we had so much fun in uh, in LA. I actually mm -hmm. got to do a food challenge with Nick. So I'm gonna show you guys that in this video. Um, and then we went to Disney, well, downtown Disney for a mm -hmm. little Disney themed cheat day. That's gonna be the next video after this, after, after this one. So you guys will have to stay tuned to see that. And uh, yeah, we're super excited to show you guys. So um, yeah, let's show you guys what we got. Um, chicken was $6.99 for on sale. two and a half pounds. So we made sure to get that. Ground turkey is something that she loves. And it was on sale. How much? $2.49 a package. $2.49. Uh, she likes the Waza crackers. I had a bad experience with these, so I'm no longer eating those. I got the lower fiber ones, so hopefully your tummy can handle it. I'm not eating it. Well, and then uh, for a ten dollar loaf of bread that's low sodium. It's not ten dollars. It's five. No one should pay five dollars for a loaf of bread. Babe, nobody you know should pay five dollars for a haircut either. It's okay for me. Uh, then we have Brussels sprouts, which are delicious. We got some apples. Guys, I'm not doing any pears anymore because I've realized that pears completely just. I feel so much better without all the fiber, and pears have a higher like. Mm, marginally higher fiber, fiber content we than apples We both sleep do. better at night. Yeah. Let's just say that. What's that supposed to mean? Don't finish Multiple that. Multiple things. Uh, okay, so, uh, green beans right here. And then uh, we got some rice cakes. These are amazing. I always get rice cakes. Some sugar-free blackberry preserves. Actually, this is another thing I cut down on a lot. There's three, three grams of fiber per one tablespoon. And I was probably eating like a quarter of this, of one of these, maybe oh, even geez. half a night. So if you- Well, it does say sugar-free with fiber. Yeah, and I'm an idiot and I was eating a ton of this. So we actually cut down a lot of like trace fiber. So it's good to get fiber, guys. Just don't overdo it on the fiber. If you're getting over 35, gra 35 grams of fiber a day and you're like an active person, that's pretty much like where you like should draw the line. Yeah. But uh, it's all dependent on the person. Uh, and then we got some light and fit yogurt. This stuff, I actually usually don't buy this just because I don't know. It's it says light and fit. And it's lower calorie, but it has it definitely has a lot more carbs and sugar than the average yogurt does. Yogurt does. But I mix it with stuff. Uh, more yogurt right here. That's plain yogurt. Basically, uh, that means you can't believe marketing yeah, labels. Basically. You need to understand what you're looking for. Um, we got some almond butter for you because you love almond butter. Uh, these are our favorites. Our 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 favorites. Rice crackers. Those are super good. Kombucha to help you. No, oh, my stomach just hurts. We ate a lot of cereal last night. We did eat a lot of cereal. You guys will see that in the next video. Some Diet 7 Up, some sugar free syrup, some cashew milk, some, it's some, I don't know why I like this. It doesn't taste like avocado to me, but it's delicious. One of my favorite flavors ever. And then some sugar free jello, some stevia, and last but not least, we got some peanut powder. So that's pretty much it for the grocery haul, everyone. Now we can get to the video. Well, I mean, this is for our channel now. Oh. Chocolate juggling back and forth. All right, guys, oh. what's up? We're in LA. 
Well, actually, we're not in LA. We're in Orange County. We're in Orange County. So the plan of attack is, guys, um, I'm gonna be going to do a food challenge today with uh, Nikocado Avocado. It took me like 10 minutes to say that in my, my intro. Nikocado Avocado. Uh, so we're gonna be doing a food challenge and um, hoping that um, I don't get too messed up because we're doing a mukbang tomorrow in uh, Nick's Airbnb. So uh, the whole plan, I guess, is to, um, you know, kind of show you guys like the whole like inside look to everything. Um, this challenge is probably gonna be like, I think it's like a 10 pound burger fry shake challenge. So I don't want to get too messed up. If I'm not too messed up, we'll, we'll have some fun and film. We're gonna go to downtown Disney. We might go to downtown Disney. Don't get my hopes up. That's that's what everybody wanted to see. They wanted to see like a Disney cheat day. Disney. Well, we can do that at Disneyland because we're gonna go in July. Oh, I'm not bringing the camera when your parents are here. Well, you can bring the small one. And then like get all the inside look, like inside shots into the donuts and like, oh man. To be get, all creepy about yeah, it. Yeah, be all creepy about it. They're gonna be like, why are these people so weird? So like, what do you, um, what do you want to eat when you're? In, well, I mean, you're on, you're on your, um, your plan still, so. Mm -hmm. So, so what was your question? It's high carb day though. So maybe I'll show so, everybody how I can fit in. So treats. when we're at the restaurant, you will get some fries, no? Oh, you mean at this restaurant? Well, when we're gonna go do this. For your food challenge? Yeah. Oh no, no, no. <laughs> I thought you meant when we go downtown, to downtown. Oh, well, oh, okay. Well, if, would you would you get us a little treat? Probably. I don't know, we wanted to do our, our video that we filmed two nights ago, but that was a little hard because <laughs> Guys, let me just say, sometimes, like, we've actually done two or three videos where we've filmed it and we're like, man, it just didn't flow well, so we're not gonna post it. Uh, we'll show you the footage from a few nights ago right now. What face are you doing? Is I didn't fart, that was, that was the couch. Mm -hmm. That was the couch. <laughs> Perfect. We look really stupid, hey. like usual. I, I, like usual. We need to have, like, a, a thing that we do that's, like, for every thumbnail. Take a guess. Whose favorite? Minor Eric's. Put that on that side. Minor Eric's, Minor Eric's, Minor Eric's. Now, you guys have to comment down below with what your favorite childhood cereal was as, you know, or just favorite cereal in general, but we just, we're going back to to our, our childhood mm -hmm. for this video. I feel like what's interesting is when you go back to like your childhood favorites, they don't taste the same. They don't, they don't. I don't uh, know why that is. Specifically, well, a cereal that's that was my childhood favorite was Oreo O's and they discontinued it and then brought it back and it tastes like crap. Mm. But now we can reveal, I guess, our our cereal. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, these are mine. These are good, thank you. Now, obviously, guys, I really like those cereals too, but we're just sticking with. I could eat like an entire box of these by myself as a kid. I don't doubt that. Bag, I mean. Bag, bag not box. Bag, bag. Oh. Let's start with the Reese's Puffs, because that was not. My mom never bought that one, so. Even though there's it. tons of knockoff. Uh, uh, no, my mom never bought puffs. chocolate cereal. And it's probably because she doesn't like it. Well, your mom's awesome. She She was like the type of mom where she'd pour the cereal, then take a small handful off the top before she'd give it to us. <gasps> oh, it smells me. Oh, you are so dramatic. Babe, it's chocolate and peanut butter. It's chocolate and peanut butter. Okay, every Saturday morning. Every, I'm just gonna say, I'm just gonna go off a little tangent here, guys. Every Saturday morning and Sunday morning, my mom would always make pancakes, okay? She would make my pancakes. It would be an epic stack of pancakes, sometimes waffles. Waffles are great because you have little syrup reservoirs. I'm a waffles person. But when she'd make pancakes, it was cool. She basically would put the entire jar of peanut butter on those pancakes. And then i put chocolate sauce on it. Best freaking Saturday and Sunday morning ever. That's insane. That's why I was 200 and something pounds. Yeah, whatever My I was. dad made us omelets every Sunday morning. And Guys, you kept you good. You good thing you kept it low carb. Yeah. Speaking of low carb. Speaking of low carb. You have the long arms. Uh oh, cheese. Nope, she's not eating that. She's gonna have the chocolate. No, mm. you got her over here. Dang it. She's like crunching. She goes. It looks like my dog food. Hey, baby. So, um, you prefer to eat this dry, right? Yes. It's the opposite. Mm. It kind of smells like. Um... Enjoy Teens' crunching. <laughs> Should I have an ASMR channel for her? 
What just you set mean? up like a microphone next to her. <laughs> like uh, ASMR channel. Yeah, just have just have like tea. And her like a, lapping water. Athena ASMR moment. Doesn't, don't they have like a peanut butter crunch? Same thing. Is that a serious question? Tastes like peanut butter chocolate. Teens, mm. it's good, isn't it? It's good. Yeah, it tasted just like peanut butter crunch. It's good. Um, really quick, really off topic, but uh, Lucky Charms is running a promo right now. If you, well, promo. If you find a magical box of Lucky Charms, you get um, free Lucky Charms like only cereal for, it's like a year, I think. Oh, no, no, they send you a box of Lucky Charms. It's, well, that's it? No, but they send you a box of all charms, Lucky Charms. Oh, this is my favorite. Are you just like doing like a food? It's a massive bowl. I'm trying to figure out how. To see if you are one of the 15,000 lucky winners, find the code inside, enter your code at marshmallowenry.com. Okay. I want to take a bite of all three cereals. So we got some Cocoa Puffs. We have some cinnamon Ooh, toast crunch. Oh, you want to do an epic one too? I always do that. It's such an awkward angle. I want to be like an epic bite. Guys, when it comes to cereal, I don't play around. I know. I'm really struggling here. You are really struggling. I don't know. I need more lucky charms. Charm me. Oh. You want to get charmed? I want to get charmed. I'm not a huge soggy cereal. Ooh, they have a new marshmallow. It's sad that you noticed that first one instead of me. I love those good Let's see if I won this. Marshmallowonly.com. I would always just like, instead of the milk, I would just get a cup of cereal and just, er. Oh, hey, teen. So like age house? 25 to 40. I'm in the 40 range. No, you're not. That says 25 to 40. Enter your code here. Let's see who we got in. Do you think I won? Mmm. Moment of truth. Oh, that's, that's ridiculous, man. Let us know how to contact you if you win. If you're a winner, this address will is where we'll send your prize. You just tell me right away. I don't, want, I don't care about that. We hope you guys have had an amazing day. The electrics are out. So yeah, uh, it was uh, it was a very interesting video. Um, we, I, I, I had a lot of fun with it, but it I felt like it just wasn't. Uh, I think we were both having a very stressful day. Yeah, so it wasn't the right time to film it. At least we got to try a bunch of our childhood cereals for you guys. But uh, we can maybe do that in like a separate video or something, maybe. Yeah. yeah. Um. I so you missed the turn. I know. Oh, okay. You gotta tell me when I miss a turn. I don't know. I'm not paying attention. I'm trying to like do what that does. And you should not vlog and drive. I'm not vlogging and driving technically because my hands are on the wheel. No offense. <laughs> Babe, you scare me more than my 80 year old grandma sometimes. California drivers. Anyways, people. We're gonna get to our LA excursion ex extravaganza and uh, have a good time. I'll bring you along for the ride. We'll bring you along for the ride. 12 seconds later. Alrighty guys, we're here with the legend himself. Hey guys, sir. Hi, it's Nick Avocado Avocado. I don't know if you told him. Oh, I did. Oh. I gave him the rundown. Oh. Okay. You are the king and uh, we're gonna do a little food challenge today. Are you excited? I'm very excited, I'm hungry. I'm actually still waking up, you guys, so if I'm like, going like this a lot. Right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, so we're gonna head over to the restaurant right now. Yum. Are you hungry? For some Big D. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Make sure you guys let everybody know Big D's birthday. Oh no, we will. <laughs> I'm like, I'm blown away right now. This looks absolutely nuts. We had to get the Reese's in here. Oh, that's like an ice cream sandwich? It's like an ice cream sandwich. Oh my popsicle? goodness. You, you got a popsicle too. I got cotton candy. <laughs> Welcome to your first food challenge. Oh. 
Yeah. This is my first food challenge. Why first food challenge. I, I eat. The right I eat, but I don't like eat. Wow. Eat, you know? oh, you to the right place. Oh my gosh. I love how it says yum on top. Oh my god. Yeah. There we go, my dears. Eric, I can't. An air shop. <laughs> like, what can I sign up for? <laughs> okay, so what you want to do first? You want to take the take the, the this the whatever this is off. off. This is just a massive fried mushroom, I think. So, did you already did you already start the challenge? Oh, fine. <laughs> Alrighty guys, so we hope you guys enjoy the video. Next, like we said earlier, you guys are gonna see the Disney cheat day that we filmed. I mean, it's kind of like a cheat day slash- We were like taste testing the good stuff. Yeah, so uh, it was actually a crazy full day of eating because I did an in and out mukbang with Nick and then we did another one that, that night. night. So it was just an all around like awesome experience. We had an amazing time yeah, with them. it was really fun. Uh, it was super cool to do a food challenge with a mukbanger because he's not used to eating- He like food. wanted to like, take it slow and enjoy yeah. it and they were going for time yeah and eric's like shoveling it in and so basically i had to I had to do like a balance between being like it being a mukbang because i wanted it to do a, like i wanted to like take my time and like talk and also have a food challenge so it's going to kind of like upset some people on my main channel yeah who people. cares dude you need to eat as fast as possible take huge bites Make don't swallow possibly choke yeah choke it's funny but oh well um, anyways guys that'll be the next well actually you guys already saw that but Disney cheat day will be the next video hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did be sure to let us know down in the comments below of course and uh, let us know what you guys want to see next from us wow we've got an idea for Easter but Eric doesn't like peeps who wants to see how many marshmallow peeps we can stuff in his mouth no it, they babe you're you're a female and it's if you're stuffing things in your mouth the, the boys really want to see you okay that. well i think we're gonna have a competition to see how many peeps we can fit in our mouths I who wants to see that I think who wants to see that you probably won what's that supposed to mean so hopefully you guys enjoyed the video if you did again like i said be sure to let us know down in the comments below and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and uh do you have anything else you need to say babe no i think you pretty much covered it so. the electrics are out